Hi friends, happy Halloween. My name is Stephanie and I'm here to walk you guys through the top five best horror games of all time. Coming in at number five is Phasmophobia. So before you click away from the video, just go ahead and hear me out. Phasmophobia, I believe, deserves to be on this list because of its co-op function. I believe that adding more people not only makes it more fun, but it also makes it more scary. One of the reasons that this game is so awesome is because of the replayability of the game. So you go up against a bunch of different types of ghosts each time that you play, and the only way to find them all is to keep playing the game. Different ghosts have different clues, so the more that you come across different clues, the more that it's leading you towards different types of ghosts. Could be a wraith, could be a yokai, could be a demon. And that's just a few of the different types that are available to find and play against in the game. Coming in at number four is actually my favorite game on this list, Supermassive Games and the Dark Pictures Anthology, specifically focusing on Until Dawn and Little Hope. Until Dawn is a game that's available for uh, PlayStation. It's a one-player game, and it's a butterfly effect type game. Basically what happens is it's a Cabin in the Woods 1980s slasher type of vibe, uh, where a group of teenagers goes up to stay for a weekend at a cabin, and everything is not what they suspect. One of the super cool things about Until Dawn and the entire Dark Pictures anthology is that all of the voice actors that are voicing the different characters are also their 3D models in the game. This just adds to an extra element of creepiness because you're looking at these people that you know and that you've seen in television and movies, but now they're being put in these like horrific situations where you're trying to save their lives or determine whether or not they make it out alive. The game specifically makes it so that you are in charge of every decision, which definitely adds to the creepy factor because it's your fault if anyone dies. Little Hope is part of the Dark Pictures anthology and personally the one that I think is the scariest of the series. The basic story is this. A group of college students have to take a little detour when they're on the bus through a town called Little Hope. The bus driver suddenly sees a mysterious girl in the middle of the road and swerves to avoid her, leaving all of them stranded and the bus driver nowhere to be found. The cast of community college students has to deal with sudden flashbacks from what looks to be their past as they encounter multiple creepy iterations of them in past lives, leading all the way back to the witch trials. The replayability of both of these games is really fantastic um, because you can make different decisions every single time. There's a lot of jump scares in the game which really adds to the creepiness factor and there's also a lot of suspense. So whether you're a fan of just pure jump scare horror or if you're a fan of more of the psychological thriller aspect of horror, Little Hope and Until Dawn provide both of these things. It's the ultimate horror experience for any fan. Coming in at number three, we have Amnesia, The Dark Descent. The basic plot of Amnesia is this. You play as the protagonist, Daniel, as he's exploring Castle Brennenburg. Daniel's suffering from amnesia, hence the title of the game, and has absolutely no idea what's going on. This adds to the creepiness of the game because you are figuring out things at the exact same time that Daniel is. So any knowledge that you have, he's also learning. The game combines a set of jump scares and puzzle games that you have to solve, which also adds to the heightened scariness of the game, because who wants to solve puzzles while you're being chased by a bunch of monsters? Another thing that makes Amnesia absolutely terrifying is the fact that Daniel cannot defend himself. There is zero fighting elements in this game. The only way to avoid monsters is running away from them until they can no longer see you. The dark plays a big theme in this game as well, as you have to monitor Daniel's health and his sanity. The longer you spend time in the dark, the more his sanity goes down, and then the more the monsters spawn and chase after you. Coming in at number two, we have Silent Hill. The series starts out with Harry Mason and his daughter Cheryl as they go to Silent Hill and discover that not everything is really what it seems. It's a survival horror game and also a rescue mission type of game as Harry is searching for his daughter and wants to bring her back. One of the most iconic things about Silent Hill and the reason that I think it deserves to be number two on this list is its reoccurring characters. Everybody knows what Pyramid Head looks like. The nurses are a staple that show up throughout the series. And as the audience has grown up, the games have grown up with it, which adds to another horror element. Like, you think you're free of Silent Hill? Nope, another game's coming out. All right, guys, we've made it to number one. 
the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme, the ultimate horror game of all time. And that belongs to, I'll do a little drum roll, Resident Evil. One of the reasons that Resident Evil belongs at number one on this list is because it perfectly marries action games and horror games. So there's something for every type of gamer out there. Uh, if you like third person shooters, Resident Evil 4 has got gotcha. you. If you like first person zombies all up in your face, uh, Resident Evil 7 is going to be your kind of vibe. One of the reasons that Resident Evil is so scary is because it deals with a lot of familiar settings. Biological warfare and viral infections are two common themes throughout the game. And there's even a lot of familiar urban type settings that you could really find yourself in. You look out the window and it could be happening literally right outside. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you agree with me or disagree with me, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, either at Esports Arena or my personal Twitter, at Steffi B Cosplay. Uh, thanks you guys so much for watching this video and have a very safe and fun, happy Halloween.